with my father's encouragement, uh, inter-class, and uh, I learned chess, and I participated in inter-class, inter-school, up to district, national level, I, took, I came, and I won several medals in the chess tournament in the school days. While this continued in the backyard, slowly life crept, and I was job hunting. After completing my education, unlike the digital age of today, my hunt for job was through the good old newspapers. And thanks to that, I happened to change upon a front page news article about C.N. Janaki. Most of you might have heard about her. C.N. Janaki is a paraplegic who crossed the English Channel. And it, uh, paraplegic crossing the English Channel is very big strenuous, and she took 26 hours to cross from Paris to London. So that made me a life got booms. So I thought, let me make something in that reading, that inspirational story, I think is that well in my inner life. I started believing that my wheelchair need not bind me, and I can also strive to bring laurels to my country. While believing in oneself is the deepest first aspect, putting that belief into action and translating that into an achievement meant that what I need to be a good, need a good coach to show my path. As motivated as long, my long hunt met Mr. Lingappa, a prestigious Dronachari awardee. That award is given to the coaches. We, he has trained many athletes like Ashwini Nachappa, Rita Brahm, Uday Prabhu, who all participated in normal Asian games. Who trained many athletes? What started then was a long, strenuous, vigorous, and yet deeply enriching journey of coach, coaching with my coach, which then led me to win medals at national and international level. In the year 1994, I was selected to represent India at the IPC Athletic Championship, Berlin. That time it was West Germany, where the, our Hitler had constructed that stadium. I was in that stadium. I was over the moon with the selection, but you see, challengers are as a constant companion. I also needed to raise those days, the government was not sub uh, supporting or sponsoring financially because our sports was not recognized. Now, for any international, national, state government, as well as uh, 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 central government will support. Those days, we had to go for a, looking for a sponsors. But those days for sponsors, who are the philanthropists were there, they were, they had no idea about our parasports. They used to only discourage us. They say, you go and study, what do you want to do in this, this one? So, but I took this challenge, or my, I and my well-wishers, we took this challenge. We wanted to show the society what we can do with this thing. Finding sponsor, tough job. But so uh, as people then by large were not aware of para sports. My constant striving led me to Dr. Jeevra Jalwa, who was a minister and was an MLA, and who was a good social worker who is to support everyone. Who sponsored my participation in the, in the meets? With what monumental task out of way, nervousness crept in as this was my first international meet. Usually, first anything is means the stage fear comes. Like that for me, stadium fear was there. The thought of playing in the venue where our Indian hockey team had won an Olympic medal. Despite the tent of being a Hitler-constructed stadium made me still more proud. However, representing my country was my big prize. As the medal shield away from me on that occasion, that did not dim my spirit. I continued to strive with the goal to win for, to goal for, win for my country which led my participation in the Multi-Disability Championship 1999 at Sydney. Here, I won my first international medal, that to gold medal, in short put. Thank you.
My rich sporting journey continued thereon. I have been fortunate enough to have many continuous efforts lead to me win 25 international medals and 70 national medals. Thank you. This gave me the impetus to promote our para badminton in India. Al along with my like-minded friends, we hosted the first ever para international tournament in 2002 because to aware, uh, give awareness in our country. And those days, 2002, they was not user friendly. Now you see everywhere, wherever you go, you find user friendly toilets, stage, bus stand, everywhere. But there even stadiums. The, the stadium was not user-friendly, hotel was not user-friendly, but somehow we made it user-friendly by giving a temporary like a wooden ramps like that we constructed. Around uh, nine countries came, they were in Bangalore and they liked because India was the first, after uh, independence, no para sports had, had happened. So we were the first to host the international para badminton and they liked very much. And I retired from active para sports in the year 2012 and decided to con uh, continue the development of para badminton in India. In our state, we used to conduct national tournaments. Conducting a national tournament is not easy because we have to arrange the players, stay and four days, their uh, lunch, dinner, everything. For that, the financial is more. But with our well-wisher friends, philanthropists, everyone came. We didn't take, support, uh, take funds from government, state, not the central. Para, now the para badminton is no peak at, at this. India won two gold, one silver in 2019 uh, Tokyo Para Olympics. And now in the uh, recently concluded Asian para, uh, Asian para Games, India won 21 medals in the para, para badminton, and India stood in the overall fourth with giving 111 medals. That created a history in the para sports. Added to my sporting journey were six more medals, one at the 2005 Dwarf Olympics, what Prathmesh told me. This unique feat of achievement is count was also etched into the Limca Book of Records, my uh, medals this one. My personal sporting journey and my contribution in the para sporting journey of others thus far led to the Karnataka government to honor me with Ekalavya Award, Kannada Rajyotsava Award. And in the year 2021, the government of India with the fourth highest award, that is Padma Shri Award, they honored me. Thank you. And thus continues my deeply enriching journey towards the winning in life. And I deeply wish the same for each and every one of you be here. And uh, before concluding my speech, my punchline is, count your ability, not the abil disability. So all things for the... All the best. Thank you. Thank you, Indian Inclusion Summit, for uh, inviting me here to give a small speech. If I've made any mistake, forgive me. Thank you very much.